watching the film companion Adda. I'm sitting here with director Dibakar Banerjee and actors Rajit Kapoor and Sushant Singh Rajput. We're talking about Bhomkesh Bakshi. Sushant, of course, is Bhomkesh in Dibakar's film. Rajit was Bhomkesh in a blockbuster Doordarshan television serial in 1993. And I've got two Bhomkeshes here. <laughs> Now this is this is guys. It's giving me this like Looper vibe. You remember that sci-fi film in which Bruce Willis and, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. Joseph Gordon-Levitt played yes. the different ages of the same character. Right. And at one point they have a face-off across a diner. Right. <laughs> it's it's like. Is this our face-off? This is it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it. It looks like three Bonkishes sitting right here because of the bakers. <laughs> Actually, original Bonkish ye hai. Because he is more boomkish than anybody that In him and me way. put together. <laughs> Why is that? Because his mind is sticking away, thinking of the next thing. Hmm. Always. But there was uh, a period uh, in 92, 93 when I was continuously mistaken for uh, Rajat. Really? Absolutely. It's not funny. I, I mean, was people smiling almost right died. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd known before. I would have sent him in my place for so many things. <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they, they were, they, we, we had traffic accidents uh, because of that. I mean, I once, I mean, you, you know the thing. We were at the. <coughs> where? Uh, it's in Delhi where huh. we were. Uh, I mean, I was just crossing the road because I was a trainee in some filmmaking company. I was just crossing the road. Suddenly, I hear this screech behind me. And, and you see one typical Delhi DTC bus coming to, you know, uh, screeching stop. The driver, you know, kind of leaning forward and, you know, giving his opinion about the man's parentage who was right in front of the bus. <laughs> and uh, so that guy didn't even heed the DTC bus driver and all that. He just came to me straight, a middle-aged guy. And he said, uh, are you Byomkesh Bakshi? Are you Byomkesh Bakshi? So what used to happen was that, you know, he had hair. <laughs> I had hair. <laughs> and I didn't have my fuzz. And we had that side parting. And in the slightly long... Uh, sideburns. Uh, uh, sideburns. And we both had this... <laughs> this one. <laughs> this kind of an experience. Basically, it was a hair-raising experience. <laughs> you know, I'm suddenly realizing that even my voice is similar to you. <laughs> it's very uncanny. This is my brother from another mother type of thing. See? See? See, I'll say something and you say something. Okay, I'll say, my voice is very similar to you. Very similar to you. Yeah. And no, no, he's, he's putting on the face. Okay, no, no, so I'll say, my voice okay. is very similar to you. Ab, aage kya kya kya? Sir, <laughs> bohat. So, uh, so, I said, no, no, I'm not Ajit Kapoor. So, he was completely shocked and traumatized. And he said, face just like. Face just like. Face just like. <laughs> Three times. No, no, and he kept saying and he walked away, you know, shocked. So, so that was one incident. Another incident, I have gotten admittance to a five-star party because they thought that I was Rajat Kapoor. Not bad. Not bad. Not Not bad. bad. Mr. I Kapoor wish that could happen you. to me. <laughs> that didn't happen to me, but... Nobody's going to let you do a five-star thinking that you're the market manager. <laughs> Yeah. I'm completely barred from those places. <laughs> Shashat, tell me this. You're the seventh actor to play this character in film. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. 75th if you consider theatre, TV and films. 75th? Yeah. Fifth. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So, does the legacy of Uttam Kumar and Shumitra Chatterjee and Mr. Kapoor here uh, weigh on you? I know you didn't reference any of those. I, I know had, that. I had an idea about it hmm. because I was a kid when a uh, uh, DD show used to come. Huh. And also, there was one thing that Dibaka told me to watch before we started actually shooting for it or prepping for it. That was uh, Shatyajit Ray's uh, Chidiya Khana. Hmm. So he showed me that film and he's like, okay, this is what will happen to you in future. Oh, but do not. Do this is what you will age into. Yes. Because that's one of the last episodes. Right, actually. right. Also because of the personality. Also because he was so aware of his style mm. in the sense of how he cracks the case, and he knows about his uh, uh, positive things, and he's very much sure about his instincts now. But this guy that I'm playing in the film is is very fresh out of college. He doesn't know. He knows. He's aware that he's very intelligent. But there are so many things about him that he is not aware of, and while he's solving the case, he gets to know. And that's why you'll see a very distinct, very strong transformation from the guy uh, in the first scene and then the last Bhomkesh in the same film. Now, you two are one of the, I think the only two perhaps, at least in film, non-Bengalis to play this character. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yes. Dibakar? He knows. Yes. Yes. No, I don't. yes. No? Yes. So does this add to the pressure of... 
See, I have no pressure. What pressure do I have? No, did you I've done ever? It, I'm done it. No. <laughs> and so successfully? Never bothered me. There was no kind of pressure on me as such because from my director's point of view, I was starting from scratch. There was no real reference point other than 33 episodes that were put in front of me and said, this is what you've got to take a look at and this is what I want you to do. And I think Basu Chatterjee was a much more devil-may-care kind of a director, right? From what I've heard from what you, what you explained. He was very... Uh, but he was very clear about what he wanted and what he didn't want. And he said, the rest within the parameter of what I've told you, I leave you free. You know, he was particular about you. Like, I, till today, I know how to tie a dhoti only because of Bhumkesh, you know? Uh, yes, that's the first thing I learned. Yeah, and I can tie it now with my eyes closed. Only because of the six months of wearing a dhoti every day. What's amazing to me, and I've been reading up, you know, there's been so much coverage in the press, on the yeah. net. Um, you brought up dhoti, okay? So, somebody has said, long essay on Bhumkesh saying, uh, Rajit owned the dhoti. Apparently, you are holding it a bit too gingerly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then somebody else has said that, uh, but you know, how can the film be called Detective Bhumkesh Bakshi? Because Bhumkesh referred to himself as Satyanveshi. He was a seeker of truth and not a detective. Then, of course, the kissing has just got everyone yeah, in a hissy fit. Yes. So, Too bad. Right. No, but, but here's my question, right. and I ask it with utter um, sincerity, curiosity, and zero disrespect. Why do Bengalis <laughs> take their detectives so seriously? I don't think Bengalis take their detectives seriously. I think some Bengalis take their detectives seriously. The good reason for this is that you... I wish you could read Bangla. If only you could read Bangla, you would understand the strength of Shorobindu's language. That you have to just read those 30 stories to know that 40 years of India's history Calcutta's history, Bengal's history, 40 years of a man's evolution are encompassed in that writing. None of that is, uh, none of which is highfalutin intellectual. It's all bloody entertaining. It's all about crime and murder and sex, not graphic, sensual, love, passion, romance, adventure. And it's all at the same time very, very deep. It touches you. It has its hold over you and it's simple without being simplistic. And that's the strength of Bhumkesh. That's why we all love it. Some of us probably fetishize it because it's peaks of a time, a golden time that mythically exists in our past, which has gone away today. In the onslaught of postmodernism and Jobi Bolo, Ajkal Jobi Hora, Sab Thunka Laga Ke Naach Rahe Hai, Sab Jaga Pe Item Number Hai, To Aise Karke Sochne Wale Detective Ki Kahi Jaga Nahi. You know, Rajat also, I have seen a you know, I, I saw all the episodes. Rajat also, you know, he had this thing that he was thinking like this. So, this is not the idea of thinking. So, I think wo, that time of that mental, you know, calisthenics that a detective used to do, that has gone away so much that some people miss it. And they say that our detective was mental. Tha. Mental, I mean, mental. I got it. Mental. Now, it's experimental. Hai. <laughs> Our detective was thinking about it, and we were thinking about it. And here we are is doing backflips in a dhoti, and Sushant is running around, and we can see a kiss, and we can see all these things, and this is not the detective that we were used to. Sure. I think the big thing is that why should he make a bomkesh if it's going to be similar to what has been done in the past? It's a big True. thing. True. Then why should he bother? If he doesn't come in with a new perspective, with a new intention, if he doesn't want to show a new perspective, if he doesn't want to show a new perspective, then why So why, if people want it to be the same, I think that's quite stupid. Yes. But tell me, Rajat, your serial, of course, also <laughs> had the bodies, it had the murders, but there was an inherent sweetness. Simplicity. And, yeah, there was a simplicity. And the Dibakar, your vision, your character is far more complex. It's grimmer. I mean, I is that a function darker. of the time? I it's darker. darker. It's, it's darker. actually darker and more romantic at the same time. But, yes, but so Dibakar, is the darkness also a function of the time? Of our time? I mean, could you make a sweet and... Sort of no, it's a function of my brain. 
It's a function of he should bring something that that sure. is coming out he of him. He should bring his take on it. His and that's what I love about this man is he always reinventing himself with the kind of stuff he's made. That makes it exciting to want to watch what this fellow is going to do next. Abhi bhi bahut si sweet stories banti hain. Aisa koi bhi nahi hai ki abhi stories wo sweet nahi banta. I think <coughs> because unfortunately I'm the only one who's read Shahrukh Khan in Bangla. I just want to tell the audience that if you read it, no, he had that dry, grim understatement of a Hamlet or of a, a Chandler, Chandler. Mm-hmm. because he had that grim sense. Because if you read his scenes, <clears throat> he had the most understated uh, description of a dead body. A dead body is lying there with his throat slit. He would say it in five lines, yeah. and I've still not forgotten. Mm. I've still not forgotten that. It was to the point. There was a matter of factness in the writing. I totally agree. And that's actually darker and grimmer. There is a clear criticism. <coughs> if you notice in every story, there is a woman involved in some way. Hundred percent. The femme fatale. Absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes different it's ways. ways. Different ways. Part of that family or an outsider. There was always that one angle of one woman. True. <laughs> being involved in all all each of the stories. And one thing that we are proud of is that. You see his 31 episodes. इस 31 वन एपिसोड में बोमकेश ने कुछ सिग्नेचर लाइने बोली हैं वो सिग्नेचर लाइन हमने एक फिल्म में बुलवा दी है बोमकेश को तीन या चार सिग्नेचर लाइन्स आई डोंट नो जस्ट डू कैन यू रिमेंबर वन सिग्नेचर लाइन ऑफ बोमकेश एक लाइन आपने अजीत से पूछी थी अबाउट सत्यवित अबाउट सत्यवित शादी से पहले क्या खूबसूरत है उसने एक जोक भी कहा था जो हमने नहीं रखा है उसने वो अजीत को बोलता है कि मैं सत्य की खोज में जा रहा हूँ एंड देन अजीत थिंक secretly fancies yes yes satya it's very evident in the film oh, really yeah okay i think it's evident in the film i'm glad to have you so much super this is what i was doing makes it very intriguing <laughs> so he immediately gives up but i know that they, he, but in the script there is this underlying this thing that he was secretly going to meet her kind of thing or at least yeah, yeah. sort of watching out for watching her out and for telling her. ajit that mai satya ki khoj kar raha hu yeah yeah he was actually going to check her yes. up Yes. This one thing that I, I I actually felt while we were reading the scenes and discussing Bhumkesh when he was talking to Satyavati he was very possessive of Bhumkesh and when he was talking to Bhumkesh he was very fascinated about Satyavati so this is one thing that I I, I actually I think about. I think it's 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 is the I think there's one thing that uh, the TV serial could not have because it followed the stories fairly faithfully because yeah. every episode you had to finish the story and go on yeah is that there is a distinct buddy story between ajit and bomkesh right there's a romance happening there buddy story is basically the, a romance without the sexual angle you know yeah. friendship is romance without the sexual angle in it and you can see that ajit's you know loyalty to bomkesh is paramount to everything else on earth that's true but there were people who even reacted to that and says that ah. he seems to be the wife yes yes even yes. very yes. distinct yes. Yes. even yes. now i even when i was doing yes. it people reacted and pointed this out yes. that bibi ye hai ki wo yes yes because that's the way it's portrayed yes yes or it's all between the lines but then if you see sherlock holmes watson and all same comparisons now the new version has come out where actually watson and sherlock holmes have a relationship <coughs> watson aur sherlock mein chakkar ye hai ke wo kyunki wo angrez hain wo har cheez ko na constipated bana dete <laughs> but that's an interpretation now the bakas elaborate you can't you can't criticize an interpretation the nation needs to know what does that mean <laughs> wo ek interpretation hai wo unhone i i casting a cultural slur karo na just say main nu ki karo main nu ki Everything becomes slightly uh, tight, you know. <laughs> Rest, thoda sa chala jata. But tell me, why is this character, and Shishan, you've spent what two years living with him? Yes, now? yes. What is his appeal over 
How many decades? 1932? Yes. What because, is this appeal? Because I think this is the first conversation that I had with uh, Dibakar. And he told me, see, this, the, the emotions that we are talking about and the way Sharadindu has written the stories, we can have millions of interpretations. I mean, like, there are few things, like a small thing, like a, a description of a murder that he takes around five to six lines into vividly describing what's, gonna, what's happened. But there are very strong facts about the characters, about, the, about, the, about uh, Ajit and about Bhumkesh, that he just mentioned it. I mean, like, it's like, Bhumkesh is like this. Or Ajit lives with Bhumkesh because of this. And between the lines, there is such a Hello, huge Allah. gap. That's amazing. That, that as an individual, you are thinking about it and you can come up with millions of interpretations. Kya baat hai? Kya? Yeah. Look, look. Look, read look. Made of me. So read, <laughs> read between the lines. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ye bhi socha tha. Correct. Yeah. Correct. 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 So Correct. I think this is why we are making Bhumkesh again and again and probably the 75th Bhumkesh because everybody had a. I mean, like, yes, the essence of uh, uh, Sharadindu is there, but we have a personal take to the same stories. And everyone has their own story. Yes. Shijal, you brought Maybe up... Maybe you uh, should direct. <laughs> <laughs> the next boom kit. The next, <laughs> the next. And I'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Soul. Sometimes we'll do it, sometimes we'll do it. Correct. By the way, we had a secret chat. Which is? The secret chat is that I'm going to do it now. If this first one boom kit successful ho jai. then uh, maybe it'll be fun to have uh, Rajit in the next one. Yeah. Super, Wouldn't it? super. Wouldn't it? It'll be fun. And I do a backflip and all like it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a time travel. I'm <laughs> saying. Yeah. Boomkesh today, Boomkesh, you know. Listen, look Boomkesh. at Looper, you know, he goes back to kill himself. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a franchise and I'm hoping to see another movie with both of you in it. Ah, that's so I just want to say that the reason why we had so much fun. We did. I had a great time. Why we are hoping that Bhumkesh on Hindi film for the first time works is one thing only. Shoradindu's writing. And our own literature and our own cool popular culture that's been lying there gathering dust in our bookshelves for the last hundred years. My dream will be fulfilled and that's why I'm so emotional about this time is that every time we have something from outside which is big and which is trying to bulldoze us. If we can stand tall and say, look, you have this, we have, we have this. Yeah, so true. If that happens, genuinely, I think that'll be the most patriotic thing that I've ever been, done in my but life. But did you not know the bus? It was, there was actually a dialogue in, I think, Big Bang Theory, where, uh, where one yeah, of the characters, they like, talk about it. Yes, and then yeah. he says to, oh, very good, you you figured that out. I think her name is Bernadette. 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 And he says, oh, you're Bhumkesh Bakshi. So she's like, what is that? What's like, that? Like, uh, like uh, India's Sherlock Holmes. He's like, no. In Sherlock Holmes is uh, England's Bhumkesh Bakshi. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I do believe like, uh, <laughs> that definitely when anybody has asked me, what is the reason of success of Bhumkesh Bakshi? The first thing I say is the script. It had a complete script. Yeah. You know, That's whether you go to the classical beginning, middle, end, whatever terminology you want to use, but you have a great script writing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just solid. And simple and solid, both. Yeah. Yeah. It's a deadly combo. I want to thank Rajit for this amazingly uh, uh, encouraging, uh, you know, uh, appearance that he did on this. Because I, for the first time, I really relaxed. You know, since last night I've been really, really tense, but you know, <laughs> faffing, faffing with you really, really kind of you know relaxed me. So it's good to, good to, good to be. That's right. Just wonderful. think, of, think Thanks. about your next film, Deba. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Think about the next film. And see how you get charged and all that. Thank you. Super. Thank you so much. All Thank the best, you, young man. Thank, Thank, you, so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Please subscribe to Favorite Companion. <laughs> 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 I beat you. I am. 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 I am